now we come to the direction cosine of a line joining two points so let us say we are given two points and we want to find out so this is my x y z axis two points are given say x1 y1 z1 and x2 y2 z2 they are given so so the points are this let us say like that these are the end points right so i have i have maybe p x1 y1 z1 and q x2 y2 z2 now i do this i try to try to shift this to this that means i i, I leave the original thing here only i just make another set of axis out here why i do that because i just want to show you whatever angle it makes with this red dotted line the same angle it will make with this ox so my job gets reduced and if i am able to find out this angle then it is the same as this direction angle so i have to first find the angle and then take its cos right now you should understand this very very well that if this angle is alpha this is not lying in this plane it looks that it is lying in this plane but it is kind of like that okay so 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 you are seeing the projection of that onto this okay so it is something like this we understand the the line is something like this it is in space okay and my x axis is like this like this okay like this okay i am supposed to find this angle this hmm okay so if if this is x1 y1 z1 and this is x2 y2 z2 so so it is something like like this now can you tell me this length what will be this length see it is actually something like this this will help you understand this better so you understand so so a plane parallel to the yz plane where actually actually this z is like that so it would have been like this but i cannot represent a line like this so i have to make it a bit oblique okay that is that is one of the difficulties we face in representing a 3d onto a 2d but you have to live with it so 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 this plane this this you you understand this yz plane is something like this hm it is something like this so plane parallel to this is something like like this these two planes seem to be parallel obliques right so wherever it cuts this line is the point x2 is it not this is x2 0 0 we understand that hmm huh? actually it would have been something like this but but we have we are compelled to take our z axis like this so so it's going like this okay similarly 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 we have a plane going from here okay and wherever and wherever it cuts this 
this is my x1 you understand it looks a bit farther away but you understand why it is looking like that so this is my x1 0 0 okay hmm. so this thing this this length along the x axis is what x2 minus x1 do you understand that hmm? so it was a pen like this parallel to this is my y z this wall on the side is my y z plane so a plane that is parallel to this cuts it at x2 a plane that is parallel to this cuts it at x1 so the length that it cuts on the x axis is x2 minus x1 do we get that so that is something which is lying in the plane okay so so this this length this length of the red one is x2 minus x1 do we understand that this is x2 minus x1 so this is this red is x2 minus x1 and the tip of this has to be has to be like this right it is perpendicular the tip is like this it, it is protruding in the space like that like that like my green pen while this is this is still in the plane and this is like that like that so so what happens do you see that this tip when connected to this makes a right angle triangle it will make a right angle triangle this you have to understand okay so now i have a triangle i have a triangle which is a right angle triangle okay so so this this goes like that and it's a right angle triangle I, i'll draw it here so i have a side as i have one of the sides as x2 minus x1 this is protruding like that the this thing is protruding out and from here it's kind of goes like that but i am i am drawing that plainly so don't get confused so this is p this is q this is 90 this is alpha you understand that so it becomes x2 minus x1 upon pq is equal to cos alpha cos alpha do we get that this red pen this green one like this which was protruding and this blue so so it may be something like this just see maybe something like this okay so so this is pq my green is pq this is 90 degree and and this is x2 minus x1 so i did x2 minus x1 divided the length of the green pen is equal to cos alpha which is this hmm? in a similar manner you will understand that y2 minus y1 see along this along this the length is y2 minus y1 along the y axis it's again protruding like that like that and this is my beta right this is my beta so so x y2 minus y1 upon pq is equal to cos beta this is beta we understand that so x2 minus x1 upon pq y2 minus y1 upon pq is cos beta and the exactly the same thing will be done along the z axis so z axis is like that like that and the same thing happens right so this is z2 minus z1 this is z2 minus z1 and you look at this triangle this angle is gamma this is pq so z2 minus z1 divided by pq will be cos gamma we understand so z2 minus z1 upon pq is cos gamma so what happens and i know what is my pq what is my pq by distance formula it is x2 minus x1 whole squared 
प्लस वाई टू माइनस वाई वन होल स्क्वायर जेड टू माइनस जेड वन होल स्क्वायर अंडर द रूट एंड अ पॉजिटिव नंबर बिकॉज इट इज अ डिस्टेंस सो एक्स टू माइनस एक्स वन अपॉन पी क्यू इज कॉस एल्फा एल वाई टू माइनस वाई वन अपॉन पी क्यू इज एम जेड टू माइनस जेड वन अपॉन पी क्यू इज एम सो जस्ट विद एक्स वन वाई वन जेड वन एंड एक्स टू वाई टू जेड टू आई हैव बीन एबल टू फाइंड आउट माई डायरेक्शन को साइंस ऑफ द पॉइंट ऑफ द लाइन ओके सो दिस और द नेगेटिव ऑफ इट बट डोंट गेट वरीड मच ओके and we were your age i had a big kind of butterfly in my stomach why how do i do what do i do but there was no one to maybe assure us so we kept on going up with the apprehension and later we found out that it does not matter fine so so just don't worry i assure you that it it won't bother you in any way whatsoever so plus or negative but this is how we find out the direction for sine when two points are given right now now uh, let us solve some problems see example 1 to 5 yes z hmm hmm so th this you should this you should remember that l is equal to x2 minus x1 upon pq i am not writing this for pq you substitute this m is equal to y2 minus y1 upon pq and n is equal to z2 minus z1 upon pq but you should understand first how it came right so so this is what we are dealing with so solve those examples 1 to 5 simple ones <coughs> 